Yeah, it, that production is told from the dog's point of view, and, and uh, the way we've done that is the uh, scenery is all drawn in perspective so that it feels a little bit like you're at the dog's you know, level looking up a little bit. All the humans are going to be on 15-inch stilts to make them larger than life. And uh, I think that's, one of, that's been one of the most uh, exciting parts of it, to see that, in fact, it's going to work. I'm very excited about what we've done with uh, the humans on stilts and the dogs just on the ground. And understand our dogs are not going to be in puppy outfits with paws and cute tails and ears. It's, they're going to be dressed like humans. And it's just the difference in size and behavior that is going to distinguish the, the dogs from the humans. I knew from fairly early on that, that uh, stilts would be a big part of it. And it seemed like a great opportunity just to, to do some magic and also to have some difference between the physical world of the humans and the, and the dogs. The humans move in a very traditional way and the dogs move in a, in a much more contemporary, uh, funky way, if you like. It started as a joke, you know. It, it started, sure. It, why, you know, how can we distinguish the, the people from the... Well, why don't we put them on stilts? <laughs> <laughs> and so that's what we did, you know. And, and they're not stilts in the traditional sense that they're six feet tall or anything like that. They're 15 inches off the ground, but just that makes a pretty big difference. We didn't, we didn't tell anybody about the stilts <laughs> until, until the last moment. We cast them and then we said, oh, by the way, you're going to be on stilts.